Hi ladies, Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a white flowers over a gradient stamping. This is the Nicole Diary plate I'll be using today. I've got a discount code for Born Pretty Store if you choose to purchase it from there. It'll give you a sweet 20% off using MMX20. So I'm going to start off my mini with Mod Square. This is a beautiful SC polish, a gorgeous hot pink colour. And I'm going to be stamping with Hit the Bottle Peacock Shimmer. It's a really nice sort of turquoise colour and then I've also got a Born Pretty Store stamping polish, a beautiful purple shimmery one too and this one's called Birth of the Queen so I will leave you um, a list of everything down below in the description box. I've also got a white stamping polish, this one's from Beauty Big Bang and then I'll be using my Moyu London stamper and a Beauty Big Bang scraper. This is just a sticky stamper. I don't think you can actually get that one anymore, which is a bit of a shame, um, but they do to keep changing stampers all the time. You can use a clear stamper too if you wish to, but I just like to use the sticky one for this one. So I'm going to be doing a couple of coats of that gorgeous Essie polish on all of the nails, and um, I'm going to be allowing that to dry, and yeah, I won't bore you with the second coat or anything like that, but I just wanted to show you the application of the first coat going on here. You can see from my pointer I have still got that um, the builder gel over the top of it. So this design I did while it was still in the recovery period, but it has actually um, you know sorted itself out, it's grown out now, so it's much better than what it was before. But anyway, back to the design, I've put a coat of um, latex around my nails and that's had a chance to dry and then I'm going to go on to the stamping part. So this is the gradient stamping bit. So I'm going to use that image there with both of those beautiful stamping polishes. So this is what the um, image looks like. I really love these Nicole Diary plates at the moment. I'm just sort of totally addicted to them and I seem to be reaching them for them more and more these days. Um, I did purchase quite a few new ones recently and I'm wanting to use them as much as I can. So that's the first part of the stamping done there. So I'm going to continue to do this on all of the nails. So you can sort of overlap that um, polish. Make sure you sort of um, scrape about three or four times just to blend the colours in between. Otherwise you will end up with a bit of a line uh, between the two colours unless that's the look you're going for and then once you've done that on all of the nails I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a white image so this is the flowers so this is from the same plate and I thought it'd be quite nice to use two images today off the same plate and do sort of more of a textured layered design and um, using them together so I'm going to continue to use that same image on all of the nails now the reason I didn't use a clear stamper was with this type of um, stamping you don't need to be precise about where you're stamping the image. I'm not lining anything up or anything like that and all the nails will look slightly different. And um, yeah, once you've done that bit, just remove that liquid latex. Um, I do tend to use uh, sticky tape or sellotape to try and get off most of the um, extra stamping from around the skin as much as I can before moving on to using a bit of polish remover and um, a brush. So I do actually do that off camera. It's pretty boring watching somebody clean up sometimes, unless that's what you guys like to watch. Let me know down in the comments section down below. Um, I just find it easier just to do it off camera, to be honest with you. I just find it frustrating trying to line myself under the camera while I'm um, just cleaning around the skin area but anyway to top everything off I'm just going to be popping on a coat of sesh feed and then this is the final design here so if you've enjoyed the video I'd love a, appreciate a lovely thumbs up and um, you can always leave a comment for me down below say hello and also subscribe for more creative nail art tutorials and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one bye for now